Hello everyone. Special greetings to our instructor Duygu Sarıkaya. It's me Nur Kılıçarsan. I make the project presentation in the name of my teammates Isa Gülen and Fazıl Kürşat Tiyekli. I want to thank them for this good cooperation. Uh, so let's start to talk about the project. Our project that we named as Kekuna Image Editor is an image editing tool. As you know, with the spread of social media, the need and how can I say um, demand for such programs increased. Kekuna Image Editor supplies users uh, basic operations like cropping, rotating, mirroring, etc. And besides them, uh, some frequently used filters like sepia, cartoon, etc. Uh, as the other apps do. Uh, unlike the others, Kekuna also has uh, creative filters created by the Kekuna team. So let's uh, take a look at the project. We have a simple interface, uh, it's easy to use. Firstly, we start to edit the image with browsing image. So click the near image button and choose an image. I choose his uh, photo in memory of Cobain. Rest in peace, Cobain. With clicking uh, the near button, uh, and browsing the image from a file, uh, the editing tools has been activated and appeared, appeared on the interface. So let's start with basic operation. Uh, there is a slight bar here. Uh, we slide this bar the more what we want to rotate the image. For example, uh, I slide the bar to 50. This means the image also rotated about 50 degrees clockwise. So let's see it. It's like that. And uh, with mirror, look at the mirroring operation. With Mirroring operation, left side becomes the right side. Uh, actually, it's understood from the name. And there is flipping operation here. Obviously, we didn't understand the exact difference between mirroring and flipping. So, we did something like this. I guess is like rotation operation. Let me a second, please. Oh. Yeah, uh, it rotates the image 90 degrees with each single click. Let's look at the crop operation. Uh, we did this operation uh, with help uh, a library named as QCROP. Uh, QCROP supplies us to choose a region to crop with mouse events. You can see on the screen. We can crop it and we can change uh, the brightness and contrast value of the image with sliding these bars. This operation is based on the original image, not cropped one. Yeah. Uh, with this operation, uh, with auto enhancements, uh, it's really hard to say enhancement for me. I'm sorry with that. Uh, with uh, auto enhancement operation, user can enhance the image automatically. 
we applied uh, histogram equalization and contrast enhancement. We can see it on the screen. In this artistic effects part, we have uh, nine frequently used filters. While creating these filters, we got help from OpenCV libraries. It's like that. Sepia, theater, cartoon. Oh, actually, I forgot to mention a subject that I should have mentioned at uh, the beginning of the video. I already said that Kekuna Image Editor has creative filters. We only made 20 creative filters. Since we wanted to more wanted to uh, wanted to do more, we found an idea as the Kekuna team. This idea is incremental advancement method. I mean uh, this method allows us to apply another filter on already filtered image. Those more creative filter possibility possibilities can be provided to the user than the filters that appear in the interface. If the user wants to apply only one specific filter to image, then uh, user clicks the reset button twice and then clicks the button of the filters uh, that wants to apply. It's like that. For example, if you want to only uh, apply sepia filter, you should uh, click the reset button twice and only apply sepia. Or only cartoon filter, you should reset button and then cartoon. But you can uh, combine different filters. Yeah. In artistic filters part, we have 20 creative filters, but only 20 that appear in the interface. Normally, there are more uh, options actually. I won't talk about uh, the cost of these creative filters. Um, I just want to talk about our approach. But firstly, uh, let's look at these filters. And you can combine two filters too, as you know. But I think this one is so artistic. And you can save the filtered image. save it uh, then we can exit the program so thank you for listening to me uh, stay healthy bye